Condemnations have poured in from all over the world after The Intercept, a renowned investigative journalism platform, published a story on Imran Khan and his wife's illegal incarceration. The story was titled, Imran Khan remains imprisoned over his wife's menstrual cycles. State Department says that's something for the Pakistani courts to decide. The story was widely shared on the internet with prominent lawyers, human rights organizations and celebrities condemning the case. Quoting the story, British activist and lawyer Clive Smith said, and quote, it is it's really time for Pakistan to let the man go. Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, the party of Imran Khan, responded to the Federal Investigation Agency, which is harassing the party over a video posted on Imran Khan's Twitter account. Responding to the notice, PTI officials said that the Hamoud Rahman Commission post aimed to encourage national dialogue and bring the country out of the ongoing crisis. The commission report details how Pakistan lost half of the country after powerful military generals refused to accept the mandate of East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh. Imran Khan had encouraged Pakistanis to read the report to prevent a similar crisis as military authorities in Pakistan today have refused to honor BTI's election mandate. Supreme Court Judge Athar Minullah has called for Imran Khan's appearance via video link to be broadcasted live, issuing a 13-page dissenting note on not broadcasting Imran Khan's video link appearance live by a Chief Justice Qazi Faizi Saleh bench. The note stated, and quote, Stopping the live broadcast of only Imran Khan's appearance creates suspicion and undermines public trust in judicial proceedings. The court's duty is to appear impartial, fair and independent and to dispel any contrary impression. Showing the live broadcast cast of Imran Khan's appearance will maintain public confidence in the court so that people can see the facts for themselves." Unquote. Morgues are overflowing and hospitals are struggling to cope with a surge of casualties in Gaza as the Israeli occupation forces continue their genocidal assault on Palestinians. Gaza's health ministry says 36 people were killed and 115 injured across the enclave in the latest 24-hour reporting period. At least 36,586 people have been killed and 83,074 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza since October 7. Meanwhile, an Israeli group called Standing Together is trying to protect aid trucks bound for Gaza from being attacked by Israeli settlers.